Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lucy de Antigua Tarot, and my name is Lucy, and um, welcome to my channel, and welcome to your reading. Uh, I want to first of all just uh, um, say, because it's the beginning of the year, Happy New Year, Happy 2017. Uh, it was a great 2016, in spite of all the, you know, events that have been going on around us if we're living in the United States. Uh, and, and just anywhere in the world, really, things are a bit intense, but um, in our personal lives, we've had intensities, but we've also had great joys. Uh, so it's time to start a new cycle, a new year, a time for new beginnings, a time for new dreams, new wishes, new desires, a new visions, um, to embark on new journeys, spiritual and physical. And it's very exciting. It's very, very exciting. So I am here to do the Tarot readings for the, for the year 217 for you guys. Um, I do my readings in Spanish mostly. And actually, I started doing my readings in March of, of 2016. And I was doing them both in English and Spanish. But uh, my my job where I work, I'm a teacher, uh, became really intense and I had to stop doing either one or the other. And I chose to stop doing the English ones and stay with the Spanish ones, um, mainly because um, I'm doing a lot of, uh, uh, I'm taking a, a, an educational perspective on the readings of the tarot cards and I really enjoy doing that and I felt that um, applying it in Spanish would be a really great challenging task for me to do where I have I have learned so much uh, but now uh, for 2017 um, I'm originally from Guatemala and I am going to be spending some time over there and I'm going to have a little bit more extra time so I'm going to start doing the readings in English again for this year so I hope that you guys like them Thank you so much for visiting my channel and for your support. Um, if you like the readings and if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you want to make a donation, there is a donation button down there that you can, you know, tap into and donate. You know, you can donate from a dollar to whatever. So, um, you know, donations are always welcome. I do spend a lot of time, effort, energy, and time in my readings. Of course, I do it because I like it. I love doing it. Uh, but, um, you know, and I feel that I I have uh, an ability to read into the cards and to interpret the cards. So I really hope you like my style. I am doing nine card spreads, even though sometimes I will make them shorter and more spontaneous. The nine card spreads tend to be more structured. The, when I start with a three card spread, it can go up to five, six, eight cards, and that one tends to be more fluid. Okay, so um, either way, they will be there for you guys to check out. And uh, anyway, so thanks for your support. Have a happy new year, and let's get to the readings. Hi there, PCs. Welcome to Lucy de Antigua Tarot. My name is Lucy, and I am here to do your reading for the month of January 2017. Happy New Year, guys. Very exciting. We have a new year, new beginnings, uh, new ways, new learning processes, new lessons. Very exciting time. And it's 2017 already, so... Let's see what the Tarot has to offer you guys for this month. What messages do you have for PCs for January 2017? And I like to do the cards this way, so I really like to separate them. Uh, they tend to get stuck, and so this really helps. 
you know, to get them to split up a little bit. Okay, guys, here we go. Separate these. All right. For PCs, January 2017. Okay. All right, guys. Wow, the Queen of Cups. There you go. There's your Queen of Cups. Ace of Swords. Beautiful card. Five of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to pull three cards out first and then see what happens, okay? So you're starting out with your um, Queen of Cups. Wow. Very emotional. Look, she's she's in the she's floating in the water and that water is very deep which means that this queen has very deep emotions they're so deep she oftentimes doesn't communicate her emotions but she's very sensitive very kind this could be you or it could be somebody you know uh, it could maybe you have been feeling a lot of deep emotions but you're fine you I mean you're the queen it's the queen so that means there's like emotional stability. Uh, the cup is covered, which means not really uh, talking about your emotions, PCs. Okay? But there are deep emotions there for you. Maybe you're feeling about, you're feeling very deeply about something. Now, what could that possibly be? Well, to the right, you have the Five of Pentacles. And this is about being um, isolated, being homeless, being disadvantaged, uh, not having connection with uh, the establishment, living outside of the established rule or the established life, okay? Um, so maybe you uh, are feeling deep emotions about something related to this. Maybe you know somebody who is in this situation. It could be somebody that's close to you. Okay, uh, maybe you have felt like that before and you know what it's like. All right, Pisces. Now, to, the, to, your, uh, to your left, you have the Ace of Swords. And this is the sword of victory. And it's being offered to you. And it's logic. Maybe your emotions are just like way too deep that they're bringing you down. And uh, you're being offered a sword, which is logic. It's also the victory sword. And it is also clarity of mind okay so let's see what else comes out over here wow okay so you're getting the the page of wands and the page of wands is all about okay he has this wand which is an an idea an inspiration but it's also fire the energy of fire and it's about controlling that the uh, controlling those inspirations, those energies, and um, the queen is the queen controls her emotions. She's the queen. So it seems to me that here you have like you're getting these great cards. You have control of your emotions, control of your creative energies, that fire in us, you know, in you, and control of your mind your mind, your mental processes, and you have clarity or you're being given clarity. But here you have this five of pentacles. Why is this five of pentacles here? You see what else we have. Ah, okay. This is the four of cups. And all this is saying is that, look, you have somebody offering you a cup. Here there's a hand offering you a sword, and here there's this hand offering you a cup. What does that mean? And look at the, the page is looking straight at you here. It might be telling you, come on, go for it. There's something that you want to do, 
but you're not very happy with your choices, but you don't see what's in front of you, what the best choice that's right there in front of you, you're not seeing it. That's what that card means. And it's the Four of Cups. And below that you have the Five of Pentacles. So you, you, you're you feeling, you might, you know, feel, you might be feeling a little lost about something. And it could be that maybe you just don't know what to do. You don't, you know, but you don't see that right in front of you is the answer. And you're getting the Knight, oh my goodness, you're getting the Knight of Wands. And this Knight is like the page, except he's a Knight, you know. He's on the horse, and he's he's ready to go. He's just waiting for, for the word, you know, let's go. He's ready. So there's like something that's kind of like on hold. Something, you know, it's like you're ready. The energies are ready, but something is holding you back. You know, and even though it's staring you in the face, you don't see it, but there it is. Okay. So it's almost like you have this great energy ready for you, but you're you're holding back somehow. Something's holding you back. You're getting the the five of swords, which is, you know, conflicts with people, with other people. Okay, so something's holding, maybe the words, words were said, things were done, and you just didn't see, but it's like, you've got some energies that are telling you, it's you, you know, you're ready. You've got this 10 of wands, which you're not really, I mean, you're achieving a lot of your goals, but you're not really, seeing clearly so you're being offered this this sword which means mental clarity you, it's almost like you need to achieve you have emotional clarity you have creative clarity you have creativity you have emotional stability you know but you just like with these cards you know, things. there's some things that are just not falling into place. And it just almost seems like you need to, you know, figure out a way to see things a little clearer. Hmm, okay, you're getting the Four of Swords. And this is just like, just take a retreat and, um, you know, uh, and rest and take a retreat and, uh, you know, this spiritual retreat, supposedly, rest, and take a retreat, rest, and I'm going to put it up here so you can see it. And I want to say meditate, but I also want to say, like, ponder, think about, go over the chain of events that happened that are creating this, 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 whatever this is, whatever all of this is going on, feeling isolated, not connected to the establishment, not being able to see what is best. Too much conflict going on. Things are being said that shouldn't be said, perhaps, or mental processes, but people are leaving. And then just uh, harvesting your energies, okay? So you need to find more clarity. So you need to... Um, Go over the, the, you know, take time to, to ponder the sequence of events and how you reacted, what you said, what you did, what other people said, what other people did. Just go over that and reflect on that. And I think that that is telling you you will get clarity. 
to be able to move on. Because th these energies are just waiting for you to get it together, to move on. What is it that you're moving on to? It could be a new project, a new inspiration, something related to work or something, something very important to you. Or just organizing what you've already done, but there's been like this confusion going on. So that needs to be taken care of. And balancing these energies here. Because you, you have you have all the elements. You have the swords, you have the wands, you have the cup, and you the cups and the pentacles. Okay, guys? Alright, Pisces, this is your reading for January. You guys take care, and I will see you in Feb, and have a great month. Ciao. Thank you.